it really was a picture perfect day. It was you know, a touch cool this morning, mm -hmm. right? A little bit of patchy frost out there, but for this right. time of the year, it's not that bad, right? Okay. And it's really nice outside right now. We are seeing numbers fall and they will fall fairly fast, but uh, not going to be as cold tonight as it was last night. On campus, you can see the sun setting. A good looking picture there as we look towards the stadium. 64 is the current number there. 65 in Lansing, a pair of sixes down in Jackson. 67 in Adrian Howell and Ann Arbor coming in at 64 degrees as well. Not too bad out there, right? Uh, just a notch above where we should be this time of the year. Now overnight tonight, it will be cool, but again, not as cold as it was this morning. We bottomed out in the upper 30s. We'll only bottom out in the Mid 40s, maybe lower 40s in some spots overnight tonight. Then numbers rebound nicely tomorrow. I do think that we'll top out near 68 around 5 or 6 p.m. So it's going to be once again an above normal day with the normal high this time of the year at 63 degrees. And once again, sunshine is expected because of high pressure still in command, giving way to clear skies across the region all the way back down into Texas. You can see a good chunk of the middle part of the country looking great this afternoon and this evening and that will continue again tomorrow. But over the coming days we do see some changes. So talking impacts the next couple of days, low impact days. We will see a few more clouds Thursday. Not much, just a couple. It's really Friday that we see the impacts start to go up and it's really in the form of some rain later Friday towards evening hours. Showers are expected to move in. There may be a thunderstorm as well. Still kind of up in the air with that, but yeah, it does look like high school football will again be impacted. This is what three out of the past five weeks or something like that, that uh, we get rain on Friday. Not the best forecast, but unfortunately some rain is likely to return later Friday. That's going to be our best chance for rain out of the next seven. Some of that rain lingers into Saturday, mainly early, and then this weekend into early next week, we're going to hang on to that chance for rain. It's not a great chance, but a stray shower can't be ruled out both Sunday and Monday. The better shot for rain will return Tuesday of next week. Even then, it's not a great chance for rain. It's really later Friday, late in the afternoon into the evening that we have a good chance to see some rain. So go ahead and keep the umbrella is handy. As for tonight, all is quiet, but still cool out there. Not as cold, mid 40s. Some of those outlying spots may get into the lower 40s and maybe some patchy fog out there with those clear skies and those light winds. Tomorrow we top out in the upper 60s. Lots of sunshine once again. Another great day to be outside, get the lawn work done, let the kids go outside and play while it's still warm enough. Not uh, a notch warmer, rather, upper 60s. I would not be surprised if one or two locations in mid-Michigan cracked 70, but I think most of us top out in the upper 60s. Some spots may crack 70 once again Thursday. I think all of us will on Friday as we see uh, the southerly flow really kick in, bringing us warmer temperatures and more moisture as well. Rain returns Friday evening. I've got a chance for a thunderstorm in there. A few showers Saturday, mainly early on. A slight chance Sunday and Monday, but the better chance for rain returns Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Notice those temperatures again. 71 Friday, yeah. low 50s this dip. weekend. So it's going to be noticeably cooler this weekend. Yes. All right. Thank you so yeah. much, Brett.